Hey everyone, I'm Scotty and about four years ago I started this channel to share my art journey and I've tried many, many papers and sketchbooks in that time. So I want to share with you what I think is the best sketching paper for beginners and then what you can go on to as you get better. But firstly, when I started out, I didn't buy any fancy sketchbooks at all. I tried to get really economical paper. So that was usually paper that had below 110 GSM. Now this one actually has 70 GSM, so a very thin paper. I actually bought this little sketchbook from Daisio and it was only a few dollars. So this paper here is a medium tooth paper. So the texture is a little bit more rough and this one is a very smooth paper. It's a medium texture. You can use it to do some ink, ink work. You can see the textures here is a lot stronger and it's very smooth on this paper. So it depends how big you're drawing. If you're drawing small drawings, I'd get the smoother paper um, and the rougher paper has more interesting textures if you're shading a lot. The smooth paper works really well with fine liners, but washers, washers are a bit harder to use, especially on the, the 70 GSM paper. So after using my cheap paper for about one to two years, I started to gain confidence and I felt like I really want to buy an expensive sketchbook to see what it's like. This is a Strathmore's 500 series sketchbook and this is a Hane Mule. So both of these, I tried ink sketching with pencil with some washes and it worked quite well, especially the Strathmore's 500 series. That was excellent in using all my materials, but I just felt like there was too much pressure on each page because it was so expensive to get really nice sketches, which stopped me from learning and I don't think that's a good thing. The Strathmore's sketchbook also, I couldn't really fold flat. So I always had to use clips to keep the pages down. But it, it held some color, um, some washes, didn't buckle too much, and I could get really nice texture effect. But yes, I felt like the pressure on these sketchbook pages was too much. So that's why I tried to find something else. I mean, the Strathmore's sketch paper 400 series, um, very nice paper, but a lot thinner than the paper in the 500 series. So this is mainly just for pencil. I didn't really feel like it justified the price when the cheaper pads were just just the same. Then I stumbled upon this Canson mixed media sketchbook and it is 160 GSM which is really great. It takes all kind of ink, washers, markers really well. Um, you can try all sorts of things here. I've tried some acrylic markers, Posca pens. I've produced some really interesting artworks combining everything. I've done crazy experiments with ink and watercolor as well as pens and marker. I like how the inks and the fine liners really pop out a bit more on this sort of paper. It's very nice and textured, but not too much. So see it has a nice texture. Fine liners go quite nicely. It's a little bit rough, but this is a very good start for most people. So when you're watching artists on social media, you've probably come across moleskins and I had trouble actually finding which one they were using. Uh, these are good value. They're not as expensive as the Strathmore's that I showed you, but they are more expensive than just standard drawing paper. So just to clear up confusion so you don't buy the wrong one, this soft cover sketchbook is the Moleskin Art Sketch Pad. Pages that, um, it says it's 120 GSM. Uh, it definitely takes ink in a very strange way. Just find the way it dries on the paper. It starts off dark and then it goes really light. So I don't think it's very good for using wet media. So then I went and bought the watercolor moleskin sketchbook and it has some nice results. I've done a tutorial and it holds ink really well compared to the art pad. I think the thing I found the problem with this watercolor moleskin is that the texture is so rough. You can see that you can almost see little round circles of gaps. So I don't recommend getting this kind of sketchbook if you're using pencil. And with the ink, I didn't like the texture it gave. So I didn't use that too much with my, my ink brushes. Okay, and then I discovered this moleskin sketchbook. So not the sketch pad, the sketchbook. So I really like the, the paper on the moleskins. It's nice and smooth, but it's thick. So it's 165 GSM. So you can hold a bit of ink, a little bit of watercolor or wash, but uh, not too much, just a little bit but definitely more versatile um, and it works well with pencil shading. In this one I've used ink, washes and pencil. So I find with the moleskin paper, because it's so smooth, when I'm using fine liner pens, the, the line work is a lot better and it doesn't wear out your nib as much. So it's very smooth. Um, it also takes ink, 
which is really nice. So the Moleskin sits somewhere price-wise between the Canson Mixed Media Pad and the Strathmoles 500 series. But in general, I've really found the Moleskin works really well. You can also get them in different sizes. So you can use this as your, if you're going out. The final sketchbook I wanted to show you is my newest one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a Leuchtturm and it is quite nice. It's a little bit wider than the Moleskin sketchbook and the paper is plain white. It can take ink. So I've done this really lovely fine liner sketch with pencil. The only issue I find is the paper is slightly thinner than the Moleskin. So you can see some of the ink that I was doing in, in the sketch page behind. The other little thing is that it just seems to soak in the ink a little bit and see there. So yeah, I really like the feel of this sketchbook and you get two bookmarks, which is awesome. It's about the same price as the Moleskin sketchbook. Um, this is a little sticker that I made for myself. I'll put it on there. So in conclusion, guys, if you're starting out, definitely start out with really cheap paper, but try a smooth paper and a medium tooth paper and see which one suits you better. As you progress, you can buy some sketchbooks. They have a really nice feel about um, your story, your art journey. If you're looking for a sketchbook that does most things, reasonably good value, I would get a Moleskine sketchbook. But if you want the best value for money and you want something that has all round performance, I don't think you can beat the Canson and Mixed Media Sketchpad. It's cheap enough that it doesn't have the pressure for you to perform if you make mistakes, but you can produce some really fantastic work with this sketchbook. So this is my recommendations from what I've tried. Please share your favorites in the comments so we can add it to this list. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.